Let me put on the next poll while we're waiting. New poll. All right. Well, what's going to go on here? That on there. We're going to put that on there. And what's the only other one I haven't played is this one. Start poll. All right, let's get let's get drifting, as it would be. So I'm playing with all the challenges on because I'm uh, played this game a lot. So this game is asteroids, but it's a roguelike. How does that work, you may ask? It doesn't, and by that I mean it goes to space. So I'm gonna do something. Flak weapon or flak shot is one of the best weapons in the game. I'm going to do a very basic build here that involves me shooting enemies with my gun to kill them. I'm not going to do anything different. I'm not going to try to mess around with uh, constructs or anything like that or stacking research. I'm shooting enemies with my gun. That is how I'm going to win this game. Well, if you don't win this game, you always lose. But sometimes you lose slightly less hard. That was a boss, by the way, but as you can see, I've got a very powerful gun. It doesn't really matter. So every time, every time I level up, I get like a hexagon of mods that I can choose to unlock. And they all do, as you can probably imagine, different upgrades. Um, so for this next one, uh, so one of the ones I took is I took Flak Weapon. I took the Assault Ship, which is a uh, faster attack. I took, uh, you do better. When you're active, you get more thrust and do damage, and when enemies are near, you do even more damage. My projectiles are bigger and do more damage, and my projectiles split after being, uh, after hitting a target. And then I'm gonna get projectiles are faster and do more damage. And then I'm gonna get... Uh, I don't really like any of these, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my R key and re-roll what I, what I got. The attack rate's good. Um, we're going to take that one. Here we go. So now my gun should be a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, and it should shoot a couple more projectiles. times you want to be avoiding projectiles. Um, so I grabbed uh, projectiles travel farther or travel faster and do more damage from farther away, as well as tightening my aim. Um, I'll take three shot burst, so I fire my entire shotgun shot like that, which is... Um, doesn't seem like faster DPS, but it's because I'm working towards what's called a super mod, which means it's a type of mod that only you can only get if you have certain mods already. So the two important ones for this build were the uh, aiming in a tight reticle mod, as well as the try shot burst mod. I got it. This is my mod. It changes my shotgun into a spray of projectiles. Which is, um... Each projectile uh, is slightly less damaging than a normal projectile would be. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't really matter. It's a lot of damage. Uh, grab some HP. This one here doubles the base number of projectiles. And 
our projectiles are bigger and do more damage. But they fire slightly slower, but that's okay. So this enemy is a ring, so there is looping in this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually loop intentionally to try to get on the inside of this ring. Because I do a lot of damage when I'm on the inside of the ring. There's no weak points. targeting. Glad that I have more hit points. He's a bit slower. I can just kind of spin in place for certain moments. This guy's nasty because every time you hit him with a projectile, he releases a little orb, which means if you hit him with too many projectiles, he might just kill you back. Picking up uh, those little trains are just pretty much free loot as they come in. So one thing about this game is you notice my score only goes up when I collect the experience orbs. If you just kill enemies and don't collect the score, you don't get higher score for killing enemies. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna level up a couple times. HP regen's good. That one's bad, because it makes it so that for every projectile that's on screen, your weapon does less damage. So I don't want that one. I want this, though. Because it means that targets burn if they get hit. Um, plating, so every time I take... Or I just take three less damage from all sources. Pretty useful if you get hit a lot, but it only applies to hull damage. Pretty big part of this game is minimizing or maximizing their uh, HP pools. I'm gonna get force armor, which is additional hull damage resistance. Because my shield is really small, this ship has a has a penalty to shielding capacity, and I picked the smallest or the one the shield that has the smallest base shield. So combined, uh, my shield's not very good. But that's okay because I don't really need it. It's just while my shield's up, I do twenty percent more damage. So I like to have my shield up, but it's not really going to save me from dying. Last radius sounds good. So normally that boss does require a little bit of effort to kill, but I've just built so much damage mods that that didn't really matter. Sure, I don't have a lot of defense, but uh, who cares? Just don't get hit. bank multiple levels. There's not much of a point in it, I just kind of wanted to grab some. This one's cool, it just gives me 5% better stats for my weapon. Um, that one just gives me an extra projectile, so it matters into the math of this type of weapon that I'm using, so it's just a good one to pick up. But it makes my, sh or my shield recovery slower, and I have less regen. Of course, so I'm sacrificing the defense for offense.
So this trade is essentially, I just now got a bunch of upgrades, but I can't, uh... But I can't use rerolls anymore. There we go. Um, and what else? my enemies I'm not a big fan of because they're really hard to deal with in general. <laughs> um, X projectiles, more projectiles spread, but less fire rate shots, but it's fine. It averages out that I still... I'm still okay with this. Just having max projectiles with all my targeting. On a little bit. Just because if we get too close, like I said, the guy's uh, projectile shield is a problem. a game that clearly no one seems to be ch too chatty about, but it's fine. Um, I have fun with it. I didn't get anywhere near my high scores. So you can see some of my high scores are pretty... They're gonna, you can see a lot of pretty similar patterns pop up with some of them. Um, this one was my highest score of all time was a shield build, where I almost... Or no, yeah, this one here. I pretty much just didn't even use my weapon and only used my shield and its capacity to deal with enemy damage enemies. It was pretty fun. But we're going to close this game for a little bit.